Look at your national forecast for November 17th. We are looking at the potential for widespread power outages starting to subside in the afternoon hours. But until we get there, up and down western parts of Vancouver Island, get ready for it. Very windy day. In fact, Solander Island already port reported a wind gust of 150 kilometers an hour. Now, as you can see here for the western shores of uh, Vancouver Island uh, throughout the afternoon, we will be gusting anywhere from 70 to 110, 120 kilometers an hour. Most of the strong Longest winds, though, will be moving up and down the coast, up through the central and northern parts of BC as the day goes on. Now, if we focus in on the lower mainland, though, early afternoon, winds up around uh, 90 to 100 kilometers an hour are possible. Uh, you can see Langley there. Um, and then as we get into the day, that'll start to subside. Those winds will start to simmer down. Uh, for the interior, you know, you're looking anywhere from 40 to 60 kilometers an hour. And by the way, I know you did see some wet snow in the interior the last 12 hours or so. That has switched over to rain. Speaking of rain, 100 plus millimeters for western shores of Vancouver Island and high elevation snowfall. Whistler and some of the higher peaks could get up to 50 centimeters of fresh powder. So the skiers are getting excited about that and the snowmobilers like myself are getting excited about that. All right, let's just take you through our temperatures though this afternoon. Uh, Kelowna, 11 degrees, cloudy conditions, uh, nine for Vernon. So uh, rain on the coast, high altitude snowfall. We have a uh, pretty average temperatures for this time of year across the prairies and that energy from the west coast is going to slide eastward and brings a swath of snow through the northern prairies as a new developing low uh, forms and that will be basically your Tuesday and Wednesday story so you can see those flurries up in the north Edmonton minus three Wednesday minus nine for you in Thompson um, and yeah we're looking at uh, some accumulating snow in the northern prairies now speaking of accumulating snow because you haven't had a lot of it uh, we're talking to you in Ontario one degree for London today. Uh, cold air aloft with northwest winds over the lakes means the traditional snow belts will be getting snow. But don't get too used to it because look at Thursday and Friday. Like a blast of warm warm air. So, you know, not a lot of uh, opportunity for the snow to stick around. However, the usual culprits, uh, Kincardine, Godridge, and some of these bands into London could even make it all the way, you know, past the 401 corridor into According to this model, maybe down to Long Point Beach. And there's a quick look at your uh, amount. So we could see upwards to 20 centimeters of snow for areas like King Carden. Not unusual for this time of year. Strong gusty wind with northwest winds uh, around 60 kilometers an hour today. It's not going to be very pleasant. Now, it will be pleasant in Quebec today, anywhere from about minus 2 in Mont Laurier to plus 3. And then Wednesday, calm conditions again but cooler, minus threes across much of the major uh, cities across Quebec. Now, really nice day for uh, Atlantic Canada and really calm weather, other than a bit of sea effect snowfalls, particularly in the overnight into Wednesday morning for Cape Breton and Western Newfoundland.